today's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. The Mets have exactly a day, almost a day, day and a half, basically, to sign Francisco Lindor to a long term. Okay, well, the Mets ex tried to extend him for 10 years, $325 million. Do I think that's a good deal? Yes and no. Um, Lindor's agents and maybe Lindor um, wants um, t 12 years, $385 million. I don't think that's a good sign, and I'll tell you why in this video. So... Let's go over the pros and cons for the Mets and the pros and cons for Lindor. Okay. Okay, one. One. Let's start with the pros. So the pros for um the Mets offer is that is less is less years, which is good. Um. Because you know the Mets they signed somebody for a great amount of money and then they suck after a few years and then that's not good so 10 years he'll be 37 he's 27 he'll be 37 which is great i think that's great if they want to trade him in between that's also great um another pro is that it's money if they want to do more things next off season or to trade deadline they have the money to do it 325 million is good um and the third amount, the third pro is that they're, they're, if he does suck, and and they do trade, and they, I mean the Will Ponds aren't around, but ten years from now, who knows what's gonna happen? Steve Cohen might not be the owner. I'm I'm not saying he won't. I hope he's the owner for life. But still, like, you know, it, it's it's just I I think. He needs to sign with this contract. If not, the Mets sign uh, put a higher offer on. And I'll tell you what the negatives are or the cons are. So the cons, I think, are that... Um, well, there's only one big con. I'm... um, Yeah, con. So the con is that if he... If he theoretically does sign this contract, right? Right, 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 right. Let's just put that in our picture. He he signs a contract for $325 million, 10 years. Great, right? Okay, great. Okay, well, the problem is that if he doesn't sign, then what happens then? Do they go to another guy? Do they do another thing? So if they, if they don't sign him now, it's becoming less and less likely that they are going to sign him anytime soon. So, I think the Mets should sign him for 300 right? Put a one last counter offer, maybe tonight, tomorrow. Put it for $365 million. If he does not take it, then okay. If he, if, if he wants to take it, then great. He gets it, 10 years. Great. Maybe even twelve. I mean, you could do twelve. You could do it. You could do eleven. But I think ten to twelve years. It could. It might not even be twelve years. I don't know what Steve Cohen's going through, or Sandy Alderson, or Zach Scott, or him. But if if they don't want him long, long term for another two years, um, then maybe maybe they go over ten years if it's three hundred sixty five million dollars and less. Maybe they do that. So. Um, I think that will be, um, something to put in. And Lindor's cons are that he signs with a team. He gets a lot of money. And the cons are that he's, he's not such a, he's, he, he'll get all that money and do a great job. And he, he might be away from home for a while. And he might not like New York because of the pressure. And yeah. So that's what it'll do for this video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.